Now, I firmly believe that if this episode of Demon Slayer this week is even half as good as last week's episode, we're all in for a treat. So I hope you guys are excited as I am. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Season 2, Episode 14 of Demon Slayer. This episode is called Transformation. I would be confused as to why. I would be assuming Daki would have some sort of crazy transformation, and it still could be Daki. But if I had to guess, I would say this might be a little clarification or a little going in depth, going in detail on Nezuko's transformation. As she is covered in some sort of floral pattern, she has some sort of veiny mark coming out of her eye, and Daki said that her healing and regeneration powers, which are normally slower than your average demons, are on upper class level. So I'm very confused, but I'm also very excited. Now, real quick, before we get into this, I do want to let you guys know if I sound weird or if I cough or if I blow my nose, it is super early in the morning. So do you want that, that does make my voice sound weird, but I also am very, very sick. I am still technically recovering from COVID. And if you guys could just give me your well wishes and hope the best for me, I would much, much appreciate it. I am feeling much, much better. And Demon Slayer is going to cure me of all my symptoms because that's just what it does. That and Attack on Titan. I am very excited, but I thought I would just let you guys know if I sound funny, it's because I'm sick and I'm tired. So just bear with me, guys. Thank you, guys. Don't forget, if you guys want early access or full length to not this show, obviously, but you can't have full length of this show and all the other shows I'm watching over at Patreon. Links are in the description down below for you guys. If you guys want to support me, Patreon's not really your thing. If you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment down below, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this. Demon Slayer, Season 2, Episode 14, Transformation. Let's do this. But this is what we've gone to see. She even, yeah, I forgot she bit off her bamboo muzzle. Are you kidding me? Look at her. I'm not sure how I feel about the boobs, honestly. I've always seen Nezuko was that young, innocent girl, so, you know, it's anime, you know. <laughs> oh, greater than upper six. Let's snap her arm off while we're at it. See, I talked about this a lot last episode. But I genuinely think there's something with the afterlife and the Kamado family in this. See? They're constantly not only looking out for their siblings, as in, like, they're looking out for Tanjiro, they are looking out for Nezuko, but they're telling Tanjiro and Nezuko to look out for each other constantly. Oh my god, Nezuko! Headless Nezuko doesn't give a fuck. Okay, it's not as if her head and limbs are regrowing right now. They're still yes, her blood is congealed. Oh, her blood demon art. Oh my god, it's been so long since I've seen it. Blood demon art, exploding blood. Oh, part of her backstory. We're getting little teasers. That is crazy. So I wonder if eventually it'll become more blood control versus just exploding. Because the fact that we were able to congeal it and reconnect our limbs from our separated blood is just, oh my, look at the, oh my god. Never would I thought I would feel bad for Daki, and I still don't. But Nezuko is <laughs> whooping some ass. Oh no, we kicked her in a door full of people. Our number one goal as a demon for Nezuko was never to injure a human. Oh, and it's human blood. I didn't even, and she's in like super demon mode. She, if there was ever a time where Nezuko would lose control and do something that I would hate that she would do, it would be now. I'm glad Tanjiro is here to stop her. Don't get me wrong, but I'm, I'm, I feel bad we're even in this situation, you know? I thought it was only going to be positives. She has a new transformation. She's going to be insanely powerful. She's going to be amazing. Is there some sort of wisteria potion that we can get from... Oh, she looks creepy as shit. Oh my god, this might be the creepiest thing I've ever seen a Demon Slayer. Yep, everybody in this entire building will die. 
Do you let go of Nezuko, risk a human being eaten? No, I actually think that's a horrible decision because then at the very end, the Demon Slayer Core will... My answer, my question got answered for me. I don't even need to talk. Thank you, Tengen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Quite flashy. That's what I'm saying. I will pray that the Demon Slayer Corps never saw Nezuko like this. <laughs> Tengen is not having it. There's not a... There's not... Wait, he cut her head... Oh, 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 oh. When, she, when he happened to be cutting the... <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's a little more difficult when she kicks the floor and we go flying 70 feet in the air, but yeah, I, I agree, agree with what you're saying. Yes, what are we going to do about this? That's what I was saying, if only Tamayo can come up with like some wisteria sleep thing that doesn't hurt her but puts her out, you know? See? And now we get to see it's... The last time she talked to uh, someone in the afterlife too, it was her mom telling her to protect Tanjiro. And that kicked in the lullaby that she used to sing. It sounds a lot better than Tanjiro just singing it in a second ago, I can't lie. <laughs> you ate red berries. That's cute. A direct memory of her mom. Like that, yeah. That's cute, but also sad, you know. This is honestly the most human I've seen her since she transformed. Now she's turned into like little, little kid Nezuko. Not buying it. Oh my god. She is truthfully crying like a child. I know. That is also a good question. She's not disintegrating. Is she actually going to have a transformation out of like pure rage? Like a tantrum transformation? Muzan does. There is in her shadow. And without hesitation went to cut his head off. And I don't think he was able to. He's gone. Oh. This is gonna be crazy. We did see, we do see Tengen fighting somebody else in the opening. So her brother is even stronger than her. Why is she the upper six then? She said that was especially hard for a demon to recover from that. And he has upper six on his thing too. Oh, he's got his own like demon weapon? Like, this is a fight where I'm actually worried about Tengen because of how calm the other demon is. So this guy is very insecure. This guy is very self-conscious about his looks. That's why he stays inside his sister's shadow, because she's the pretty one, you know? Oh no, she's snitching? Kill the one who burned me. Oh no. Oh, we only have a few more minutes left. I'm so sad. Gyutaro. He is up for six. Yeah, they are sickles. <laughs> oh. Inosuke and Zenitsu back up Tengen versus... Oh, this might be one of the greatest Demon Slayer fights of all time. This might be up there. <laughs> That's a no-brainer, sir. I have three wives. You're gonna make him even more jealous. <laughs> this is like the Zenitsu of demons, so he's just fucking... <laughs> this is the... He's immediately going into his blood demon art. No hesitation. Ooh. Some bombs. I think it was just to get them out of here. Yep. 
Man, it's not like when you hit them, they can separate it. You know, they just literally come back together as blood and keep going. That's a good question. I'd be nervous. I'd be nervous even wondering that, you know? Ooh, the echolocation is so good, Mr. Sound Hashira. I love it. <laughs> Tengen is so clean. Having to deal with her Obi and his blood power, everything. This is so OP. I, oh my god, I feel so bad for Tengen, but I am way too hyped for next episode, man. Well, this episode started off exactly where last one ended. Nezuko versus Daki. Whereas Nezuko was just absolutely relentless. And it wasn't just against Daki. Like, she truly is was in an enhanced demon mode where as soon as she accidentally injured that human and saw some blood she was full fledged about to attack that human and henceforth die because of it if tangan came in and saw that she attacked that human he's chopping her head off at the same time she, he's chopping Daki's head off so like that was scary in and of itself i had to worry about that that's why i would love to see i, I think that'd be a great excuse to see tamayo again because we haven't seen her in so long let's go see her get sort of like with syria knockout drug in case that happens again you know like but damn nezuko was so crazy powerful in terms of the the blood demon art and uh, how she used her exploding blood on Daki, but also to literally reattach her severed head and all her limbs like her control of the blood is starting to remind me of this new demon we just ran into like Daki's older brother um gyutaro which uh he seems interesting, we'll say, to say the least, but very self-conscious about his looks. He's the older brother of Upper Six. It does make sense why an Upper Six would be so weak, because they're two in one. She has an older brother who's self-conscious about his looks, so he doesn't come out, whereas she's the pretty one, so she's like the face of the twins, or the or the, the pair, we shall say. So very interesting there. Tengen's about to go ham. I love his sound powers. I cannot wait to see him in action. I love seeing Nezuko's family and how much they try to help them out. Like I said, even in the afterlife, no matter the situation, that's how close their family is. You know, they will stick together. So Nezuko is knocked out. She's a kid. She's asleep. We have, I wonder how Inosuke and Zenitsu are going to play a role. I don't think Tanjiro is going to play too much of a role. We got enough Tanjiro the last couple episodes. That man is out of it. That man is tired. I think it's going to be mainly Tengen with a little bit of Zenitsu and a little bit of fucking Inosuke, but I am so excited to find them, to see them fighting against this new demon, her brother, who's so strong. Oh, I'm super, I'm super excited. I'm geeked. If you guys are and you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow that. Follow all the social medias, you know, TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, all that Dapper Darius. Don't forget to check out that Patreon if you guys want to watch the full length of this. Alright, don't forget to drink some water, be safe, tell someone you love them, have a great day Dapper Squad, peace.